Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, this episode is all about the very scale Flywing Huey UH-1. Now, as you can see, this baby is rather large, but it should not intimidate you because it has a beginner mode as well as a manual professional mode. So if you are a beginner to helicopters and you've never flown one before, or you're a little bit scared or dicey, you might want to pick yourself up the ready to fly version, which comes with the remote, the receiver for the remote, batteries and a battery charger and a few other odds and ends. Now, before I get those silly questions on, is it under 250 grams? I do get those questions. Uh, here's the weight, check this out. Yeah, that's not under 250 grams and that's with the battery. Now, if you're wondering if it's made out of some cheap plastic material, well, it's, I think it's fiberglass. You know, when I take things apart, like here, I'll pull off the canopy, it's just magnetic, but uh, Check that out. Doesn't that look like fiberglass as I bring it closer to you? Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, it is a scale helicopter. Highly detailed. It looks beautiful. The closer you get to it, the more beautiful it looks. And when it's in the air, it looks stunning. So I would say most people who own this probably won't be doing the flips and rolls and all the little pirouettes in the air with this baby. You're going to be flying at scale. Now, before I show you some flight video of this flying in the freezing cold weather, let me tell you a little bit about it. So you've got a brushless motor in the tail and you have a main rotor, which is also brushless, big motor in there. A lot of metal parts, some plastic parts, but a lot of metal parts. There's a 60 amp ESC inside, so it can take a 4S battery. Flight time with the battery, if you get the ready to fly kit with the included battery or batteries, however many you wish to get, is about 20 minutes of flight time in the summer in the winter it's about half that as mentioned earlier if you're a beginner to this hobby you'll get a ready to fly kit with the remote but if you're a pro and you're already in the rc hobby and you have a radio master or something like that well then just use your own radio and bind it to your own receiver that you connect in here and if you do get this remote let me just tell you what the switches are on it because i don't really go over it too well in the video so on the left hand side you have stop and run so that stops and starts your motor then you have normal flight just want to fly normally or you can put it into a gps mode o pattern in other words it's going to do a circle in the air or you can put it into a figure eight pattern by gps then next we have the switch for return to home it says home on it then you have gps mode if you're a beginner fly in gps mode or something's going wonky you can flick it in the gps mode then you have 3d mode which is another word for manual you have total manual control of the helicopter then over on the far right you have normal mode and inverted i don't know if the inverted works but uh, i never tried it in this video and of course batteries go in the back i should also mention that it is a full functioning remote so if you have this remote well then you can use it with other rc hobby products so enough chit chat here's my review hey everybody welcome to my channel it's really cold today it is really cold i mean like we are frozen steve How is out cold here is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's cold uh jedi steve is out here because we're gonna fly the uh1 the huey and uh this is a pretty cool looking beast very Look at cool. this thing. yeah very realistic very scale so steve is gonna fly it in manual mode i also have over here i have the mini three going around us and i was out flying that helicopter yesterday in gps mode and i almost crashed into this guy check this out so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have to fly this whoa the mini's right there holy shit where'd you come from mini all right enough about that let's go fly this i'm gonna film you loading the battery here's me loading the battery freezing cold <laughs> first i gotta turn this on two power buttons comes to life makes a sound it's going to tell me hey your switches are not correct i don't know if you can see that all place all switches in the upper position i'm doing this really quick because i'm freezing out here guys okay it's all good all switches up next this is magnetically attached the canopy and it is made out of fiberglass which is pretty sweet so uh, we just put our little battery in there uh, the batteries that come with this if you get the version with the battery they have a little bit of foam on the bottom they're 4s batteries and that sticks right here. And they also stick to my gloves. So I gotta take that off. Oh, so cold. So all I do is put this in here. Get that in there, get that in there. <laughs> it's not easy. It's I'm not glad e you're doing it. Oh, and I pulled this out. I pulled out the GPS too. Oh, oh. I gotta say. Oh. Let's make sure that's plugged in. Yeah. Well, we're not using GPS today, but we do need it for the return to yep. home. Let me see if I got that. It only goes in one way. There we go. There we go. It's just so cold out here, guys. I'm sorry. All right. Pull that back in. We'll know if it's working or not because there's a whole light system here that works on that. There we go. That was uh, that was pretty rough in the cold. Yes, the things okay. we do for the Captain Drone fans. So now this, to fly it, uh, you have normal mode, inverted mode. We're not doing that. Home, GPS, 3D, uh, normal, O-fly, and do an O-ring and an 8-ring, figure 8, stop, and run. So we're going to fly it not in GPS mode. 
That's the return to home mode. We're going to put it in 3D mode to start it up. So when I power it on, they will talk together and go into 3D mode. So all I do is plug this in really quick. This gyro is going to gyro itself nicely. I'm just going to leave that sit like that for a sec. This should turn to, I think it's a purpley light, something like that. It goes yellow, yeah, like a blue light. That's what you want. So that means it's in 3D mode. Lots of, lots of maneuvers there. Now, one thing I've learned is that it likes to grab everything in the orientation it is, because when it lands uh, in GPS mode, it comes back in the same thing. So I'm just going to spin it, because Steve probably wants a tail facing him. Is yep. that correct? Yep. Okay, so That's I'll do that better. slowly. Tail facing you. Props out. Put the canopy on and get the balance cable out of there. Uh, I also recommend nobody do what we're doing today, flying this in this cold weather. This is insane. No. Unless you know what you're doing. We're doing it in the name of science. Yes. If you know what you're doing, no problem. Steve, do we know what we're doing? Uh, we'll say yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. This is going to be, this is either going to be awesome or a bust. Okay. So the remote is here. The way Steve's going to start it is going to pull these joysticks down and out. It's the same as your 450, isn't yep. it? Okay. Correct. Down and out and count to five or whatever and then flick this to run it should start up so good. i'm going to give you this i'm going to take that all right steve do what you have to do make her go there we go there we go i hear it going i'm just going to stand back yes, not that i don't yes, trust that's you always, no no but he's in manual mode now that means there's very little assistance so when it goes doing its thing it's doing its thing there we go it sounds like it's ready to take off now and he goes for my camera <laughs> <laughs> Watch the mini! Watch the mini! <laughs> so this is what it's like for a Huey to fly in like minus 12 or colder Celsius weather. It's doing really well. Wow. It looks awesome up there. It does. And how does it fly, Steve? It flies like the big uh, 450 uh, GPS. Uh, so just like the big ones? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just that it's, uh, of course, it's uh, more scale looking. Yeah. and uh, Yeah, it looks awesome. Here, can you bring it, uh, just yeah. whiz it by us? I'll uh, do my best. That looks awesome up there. And then, yeah, there we go. <laughs> she looks awesome. Do you think it could do 3D? Oh, I'm tr the, the big one can do it. So yeah, the uh, regular F4, uh, W450 can do it. So All right. I'm sure We're not going to do it can, today. But it's, it's much too cold for 3D. Yeah. Uh, and I it, should, it should be flown scale. It's a scale bird, so. Yeah, well, oh, that's. I agree with that. It is a scale. It looks awesome. When you bring it low to the snow like that, do that again. It, it looks looks really great, good. Eh? looks very scale when you did that. Come down forward, low to the ground. I'll try to come by you here. Okay. It's very quiet, I find, for the side. Is it really? I, I don't know. I don't fly these large ones like this. This is craziness. See if you can buzz it around my mini over there. He's in front of it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Now just come by at classic. There we go. Come by very scale. What's the music we're supposed to play when we fly this? There we go. All right, bring her on down for landing. go it's like a pro oh, so she's what do you think sweet. oh she's sweet <laughs> i love the looks of it i know and it doesn't it looks outstanding yeah yeah it's like one of the most awesome looking helicopters yeah they even you painted the uh, blades gray which makes it more even more scale looking
Now, didn't the helicopter look stunning flying through the air? Now, I should mention when you get this helicopter, it doesn't come like this. You have to assemble it. I'm serious. So how about I show you what comes in the box and how to put this together? So check this out. If you order the ready to fly version, everything comes in two boxes. In box number one, you get your radio, which is your remote control. You also get the receiver, which is already bound to the radio. A long USB-C cable is included to configure your flight controller on the helicopter. And finally, a battery charger is included with the appropriate cable for your country. Opening box number two, we'll find our Huey and accessories. If you ordered one, two, or three batteries, they'll be in this box. The main rotor assembly with the flight controller and the ESC is all in one unit, and here it is. In the box, you'll also find the windshields and the tail stabilizer. Please note, I did not install the tail stabilizers on the Huey you saw in this video. The landing gear assembly is also included as well as the tail prop, some hardware for installation and some nuts, and finally some Velcro to strap everything down. The blades are massive and carbon fiber is visible on one side and the opposite side is painted gray. Final item in the box would be the helicopter fuselage and you'll see there's pretty much nothing in it. You've got to assemble it all. So with that said, here is how you assemble it. First connect the tail rotor power to the main unit. Then slide the entire assembly backwards and you'll see the back legs fit underneath two pieces of wood and then you're going to screw everything in place. You have two screws in the forward section and tighten the screws up top. Next attach the GPS cable to the flight controller. It only attaches one way. Take the included receiver, attach it to the flight controller. You can see I attached it there. Follow the wire and this is where you plug that wire into the receiver. Next take that receiver, double sided tape on the bottom that's included and stick it in the assembly someplace you like. And make sure those two antennas that are sticking out push one to the rear and one to the front. Attach the main blades to the motor assembly with the included hardware. Just don't screw down too tight. You want to leave some play in the blades. Install the prop on the rear rotor, make sure it's facing the correct direction, and then tighten it in place with the included lock nut. The landing gear is assembled as you see here. Once the landing gear is fully assembled, attach it to the bottom of the helicopter with the four included screws. Now let me give you a little bit of Captain Drone advice. When you have it all assembled, plug in a battery and just check to make sure the little light on the flight controller starts flashing yellow. You want it to go yellow, so I don't know. I'll see if I can flip this around so you can see it. So right on here in this, I can't even hold this thing, it's so big. So right on here, where are you light? Right on here in this area here there's a light and you want that to be flashing yellow when you plug in the battery. You could be indoors and do it, it's fine. If it's flashing red, that means there's a problem with the compass calibration. I have been told uh, by the company that some of these were shipped to North America and they have the satellite set for China. So if it's set for China, this is going to be red. You have to configure it to put it back to North America. That's if you live in North America. Or you could be somebody lucky and it doesn't go to red. So the way to fix it is really easy. I fixed the mine. So let me show you in this little video. Watch this. If you plug a battery into your helicopter and this here flight controller light is flashing red, then you have to do a compass calibration. It shows in the manual right here, flashing red light means compass calibration. So the first thing you do is unplug the battery, then plug in a USB-C cable to the flight controller, plug in the other end into your computer. You will need to download the H1 Heli software from the Flywing website. Once it's downloaded, click on the connect button and the software will connect to the flight controller on the helicopter. If the red light flashing is due to a compass calibration, it will tell you. Next click on the sensor tab, then click on learning so that we can teach the flight controller a new compass calibration. Once you click on calibrate, you're off to the races. You will have to move your helicopter around the exact same way that you see this gentleman doing in the video. You will know you're doing it correctly if the progress bar on your software that you see in the bottom right hand corner moves along from left to right. You should do this outdoors or far away from metal objects. Once the progress bar reaches the end, you're pretty much done. Disconnect the software, then restart the flight controller. Attach a battery to your helicopter, start it up, and make sure the light goes to blue or yellow.
And another piece of Captain Drone advice is the following. When you get this helicopter, make sure the GPS unit is sitting on the shelf in the back. It's just stuck there with double-sided tape. When mine arrived, due to shipping being tossed upside down, side, everything else a bit rattled around, the GPS unit came loose and it was sitting sideways. You can see it when you look inside. So if it's sitting sideways, just squish it down, put some double-sided tape and squish it down so it sits flat and then you're all good. And with all that said, let's go back out to myself and Jedi Steve in the field. Look at Steve, he's frozen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's, he's frozen. Yeah, it's here. cool. All right, so uh, your final thoughts on this baby? My I know I asked thoughts? you before I, well, I, I go ahead. You know, you know, I love helicopters that are scale looking, so this one takes the cake yeah. so far. I'm, it's the best one I've seen. Uh, it, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. There are beginner modes on here, like Steve flew it in 3D mode, like a real helicopter. Most people that buy this are gonna buy it for that. Yeah. If you're a beginner, it does fly in GPS mode. There's a GPS in it. And I'll show you some footage here as I'm talking. This is me flying in GPS mode. It looks much better when you fly it in 3D mode, yep. but it has returned to home. So you can see it here. I'm showing in the videos as well. Whenever it was out of range or I hit the little return to home button or anything like that, it goes into return to home and comes back and lands right where it took off. So it's for a beginner, I guess you can't destroy it or anything. It is made out of fiberglass though. So if you ever broke this in yee. the winter, yee. Yeah, yee. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a beautiful, Beautiful, beautiful helicopter anyways links are going below it's on the rc going website go check it out if you have questions on this if i didn't cover something then uh, by all means post them below so thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you want to see more cool product videos like this subscribe catch you in the next one bye